The Flagler Spotlight is on. And here's your host, the unstoppable Jeff Sawyer. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Sawyer, your host for Flagler Spotlight. Here's your opportunity to promote your Flagler business to thousands of radio listeners for free. Not a zip, no money. Flagler Spotlight is proudly sponsored by Allstate Agent Proudly sponsored by Allstate Agent Ken Moscone, serving all of Flagler County. I appreciate you, Ken. In the studio with us today, we have Joe Wright and Matt Grafer, the young professor with Florida Ambassador Media Group, FAM, F-A-M, here to tell us all about why your business needs social media marketing. Welcome, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Introduce yourselves. Joe, why don't you start? All right. My name is Joe Wright. Um, I've been in Flagler County for about uh, 30 years, and and, um, we got started in the electrical business here um, about 15, 16 years ago. So you're an electrician? Yes. Um, we own several uh, electrical companies in town. Okay. We're involved in a bunch of, in a bunch of businesses. We own uh, pizzerias, uh, okay. tire stores, and then the FAM group, which Matt and I got involved into this year. Excellent. So that's what we're here to talk about is the FAM group, right? That's correct. We Maybe someday we'll touch on the other things that you have there. That'd be great. Yes, sir. So uh, go ahead. What, introduce yourself, Matt. So my name is Matt Grafer, uh, but a lot of folks around town might know me in Flagler County for about eight years now and uh, originally grew up up north but living down here done a few different things i was an actual college professor for some time hmm. but i was also a trivia host and, and i'm uh, i'm a regional manager for challenge entertainment and a trivia host here in town i've been tri- uh, hosting or managing all the shit flagler county for the last three years and that's how joe and i met because in addition to all the many businesses that he runs uh, joe also likes to come out and play some trivia and that's how we got uh, yeah. linked up And as I was looking to make a change in my career, he and I were sitting down because one of his restaurants, Anthony's Pizza, they do trivia with us. Uh, His his Anthony's Pizza, they do trivia with us. Uh, His his Port Orange location specifically. And we had some discussions about how they promote the show. And he said he was hiring someone to do the social media. And And that's how our said a spark went off in your head. It did because I've been doing it for my own brand and entertainment, and also uh, with the the challenge and. We had that conversation. I let him know, being a well-connected guy that he is, that I was looking to make a change. And he said, well, you know, rather than pay somebody, why don't we start something on our own? And, and So you here do we it for are. free. Well, <laughs> I was before. I like him. <laughs> yeah, I got a job for you, too. <laughs> so, okay. So now we said this, uh, uh, FAM, you call it. So yes. break, break down that acronym and what's that all about? So all, most of Joe's businesses all have a Q in it for Quantum, and that was kind of his brand. That was our original intent. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when we realized that uh, that was something that was unavailable, just because there were other businesses with similar names, mm-hmm. we started kind of spitballing on some ideas that we thought would be help- we thought would be helpful. And we came up with the Florida Ambassador Media Group. And really, that name comes from the fact that we wanted that acronym, FAM, FAM like family. Okay. Because I think that's one of the things that's missing from a lot of social media management companies. Is yeah, I think I think you're right. Um, I see a lot of cut and paste kind of posting. Correct. Um, similar stuff related to related to an industry. So if I'm in real estate, I might see you know a, a post related to real estate, but not to me specifically. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of detached from that post. We'll talk about that in a second. But let's talk more about what it is you do at Fam. So we primarily handle social media presence of the clients and companies that we work for. We started abundance to do there. So okay. the- <laughs> so you, you, you got the outline laid out, the, Correct. worked out the bugs. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then we've gone out and solicited a few other clients and, and we're looking to get a few more as okay. we continue this journey. And really it's all about kind of identifying what the brand is specific to the personality of that business. And then being the digital voice and digital personality of that business. And then being the digital voice and digital representation so that, okay. You know, that message gets conveyed in a professional, consistent way so that more people have an idea as to who it is and what it is. And we're discussing social media, right? Correct. As one yes. of the outlets. Okay. The avenue. And so exactly what, how would you go about uh, branding me on social media? We're sitting down and having a conversation as to who you are and what your goals are. So who is it that you want to reach? What is it that you want to do? And then finding ways to kind of translate that into the social media platform. Yes, of course, we want to represent you from a sales perspective because that's what you're there to do. Mm -hmm. But we also want to represent you from the social perspective because that's what people are looking for on social media. So you've got to have that healthy balance where you've got sales and social. So you you discover what my uh, uh, demographics are. And then you say, okay, this social media would be more uh, applied to you better than maybe this one. You know, maybe I'm a uh, Facebook type of business versus a Twitter type of business or... Correct. Both combination? Yes. Combination? Yes. 
Okay. And uh, so tell me how you go about then with you interview me deeper, more in depth. You, you learn about my business so that you can write about me and post about me. How do you, how's that go? Well, it's not so much that I'm writing about you and posting about you specifically. I'm posting as you <laughs> is okay. really what I'm doing. So like, so that's really the idea here. Okay. And, uh, as you, so now you, you know, me, my voice, maybe how I kind of communicate and kind of replicate that. Right. Do you, do you get, you go out there and take custom photos and things like that. Do you might maybe if I, I'm not talking about me specifically, I'm just talking as if I was a client that you're interviewing. Yes, we. I mean, there's I'm talking as if I was a client that you're interviewing. Yes, we. I mean, there's a lot of content that we've got on the internet, and we rely on that for some of our content. But we also we've bought some nice equipment. We're able to take some great videos. We're able to take some great uh, foot, some great photos okay. and use that in, in a variety of different ways in order to convey that message and create that connect with. Yeah. So there's some businesses that provide services. All right. He, uh, we were, Joe was mentioned an electric company. Okay. And then you might have somebody that sells a product. Okay. Or cuts hair beautician. So then each one of those different types of businesses, you would research them and then go out and find. So some of these places might do events, right? Yes. So, so maybe like the radio show here that we're on, they do a lot of events. Would you go to those events that, that your clients at maybe, you know, take pictures while they're there live in an event to post, you know, so that seems personal. I mean, all of that is custom built to the client that we're working with. As long as we've got the time and, and the you know, the structure in to do that. That's what we do. That's what we do. And we've done that. Uh, Everlast Homes is one of our clients and okay. we went over with them. They did a big Veterans Day celebration because okay. they're, they're very locked into working with veterans here in our community uh, and with their homes and they offer a special discount for those particular folks. So we went and I actually, because of all my entertainment stuff, I DJed the event and we were able to, and we were able to take photos, use those and kind of have that and create more content. So Coming from my background in entertainment and education, I'm able to add some things that to the business that you know maybe just a social media person strictly wouldn't. Okay. So Different being able to go, yeah, it it just kind of enhanced the quality of it, and then just that you want to see it. So that's what would separate you from maybe the other type of social media. Uh, companies that are out there, your background? I would say so. I mean, I'm a consistent presence in the community, you know, hosting multiple shows a week here in Flagler for several years. Yeah. You know, I host at uh, the Brown Dog, who's now one of our clients too. Yeah. Last week, we had 70 people out playing trivia, and that's a, 70 people out playing trivia, and that's a weekly thing and that we do every that Tuesday. to your social media, getting that word out, come to the Brown Dog. Absolutely, because when we started, I mean, there were weeks when we first started out that it was a struggle to get a few teams to come. And now, consistently, we've been there for almost three years. We're a couple months short of that. And there Tuesday night, like, if you don't get there early and you're not there for trivia, you're not going to be able to get in the door. And that's really from building that social media presence. And, and Joe was the one who recognized that. Yeah. So that's great. I'm glad you recognize that because I think that makes sense. Not only do you bring entertainment value to your clients, let's say it's a bar or restaurant, that sort of thing. So you have a, a reason for people to come there and get to know that establishment and then they know that establishment and then they interact. And then of course, then you take it a step further and then you carry on the social media aspect of it. Right. Is this something you have to do every day? Oh, absolutely. I mean, or spend one day where I'm really generating content for the week, scheduling it out. But right. pretty much, I mean, there's things that change. Somebody's like, hey, I need this. We This just came up. Can we take care of it? And I can go ahead and do that. And I think yeah. Joe can speak to what the value of it is from a business owner because mm -hmm. I think Joe will tell you, by trade, he's not the big social media guy. And it's why he wanted to hire people in the first place. Yeah, it would be very difficult if you have several businesses. It's tough enough with just one That's right. to keep up with social media, and let alone several mm -hmm. like, you, like you established. So yeah. it does help to have somebody else do that. Bringing to a lot of this stuff that we haven't mentioned is that human interaction. So a lot of the social media advertising we've been seeing was the meme after meme uh, just the same thing, pop-up yes. pages. And what he's yeah. trying to bring to it is uh, seeing a, uh, an owner of a business and how they interact in their community and, and not just in the spots where they act in their community and, and not just in the spots where they, where it's sales, but, hey, I'm also at back out helping my community, whether it's through Habitat for Humanity or some other item, and then bring that humanity back into where the customer looks and says, Hey, that's somebody I'd like to do business with. And so that's what we've been really trying to push for is make it more human social interaction. Action. So let's say somebody uh, replies to a post. Do you handle those replies? I do. Okay. I, I, I see that. And that's not something that's even written into the contracts that we sign. It's like, Hey, we're going to do this many posts more yeah. than more often than not. I'm doing more than is required. And when those posts come in, I know that that's an opportunity for that business 
to interact with that customer, customer, which strengthens that bond, which strengthens that client relationship, which hopefully transfers to more sales, which is what the idea behind this is. Yeah. So everybody's different what, what their ability to do. Like my, for example, I could get some content, put it in there, schedule it to post out there, but then I can't follow up with, with any kind of replies or feedback. I just don't have the time for it so that, so that you could step in and help out with that kind of thing. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. We're essentially taking that part of the puzzle off of business owners plates. I mean, our idea, our thought process behind this was let's work with small business, you know, owners, because that's the thing about owning a small business. You're, you're usually a small operation and you have to do literally everything. And social media as, as a uh, marketing vehicle is important mm -hmm. and you got to do it. But when you have to actually handle the physical day-to-day -day operations, that's got to take precedent. And now you're missing on this valuable component. So our job yeah. is to come in and lighten that burden for you, take it off your hands, represent you the way you want it to be represented, and make sure that now all of those things are... call coming in a voicemail, not returning it. Correct. You know, Correct. it's just a lost lead. It just went into Etherville, you know, that type of thing. So um, what kind of, what social media platform do you feel works the best here in Flagler County? Facebook, I think, is number one here okay. in Flagler County. And why is that? Is that because of the age group? It age definitely groupers? is. Looking at the demographics here, looking at the demographics here of, uh, of Flagler County and just recognizing what the opportunities are to interact with and looking really at our clients. You know, I don't think... Most of the clients that we have are going to be Instagram heavy. And when it I mean, my interpretation of utilizing Twitter, Twitter is great for conversations, but it's not necessarily the most important thing for just kind of showing who you are and what you are and, and where people are at that are going to see it. With the demographics that we have here, I think Facebook, and we also do a lot with Instagram as well. Okay. And um, so are your services expensive? Is there, a, is there a, a rate or is there a flat fee? How does that work? I don't want to talk about it on the air because of the fact that it's custom built for the person. Sure. You know, again, it goes back to that initial conversation. You know, we can sit down and have a consultation, talk and say, all right, what is it that you want? What is it that you're looking for? And based on what those needs are and what someone wants and how much presence they want and how much time we need to invest in it as a company, we present they want and how much time we need to invest in it as a company we design a rate that is going to fit that need and and our goal is to then not just meet it but exceed it so that client is happy and wants to stay with us for the long term okay and how often what's the frequency i know that's going to be based on your client but what what would you recommend as far as how do you do that it depends on the business uh but primarily i would say at least every weekday weekends are not usually as big in terms of because everyone on the weekends is typically out doing their thing. Out doing their thing. So, yeah. it, you know, at least during the weekdays, knowing what times of day people are active and on their phones, you know, you've got lunch breaks, you've got that kind of those early evening hours when people, evening hours when people might be done with work and they might actually start scrolling through their social media feeds, being able to tap in and attune to that and design content that comes out and hits their feeds at those times. That's what we're looking for. And usually at least that's once a day during the weekdays. But again, based on the client and their needs, that can vary. So you have a lot of voice. So you have a lot of voices, Matt. I mean, you're Joe the pizzeria man. You're Joe the electrician. You're you're Joe this and <laughs> we, Joe that. We right? do the tires. Yes. We do. <laughs> yes, tires. All right. All right. We've done churches. We you know. So we've got. Uh, I have to be a voice for a lot of for, different things. Sure. Yeah. Right. And so do you put your your mind into that person when you're thinking about that post, like how they might respond? Or, you know? uh, absolutely. And really, and that's again, it goes back to our name, Fam Group. You know, it, it's about family. I, I want to handle these businesses the same way that someone in their own family would, because if it was my business, that's how I would want someone to represent it. And that's who I would give my money to if that was the way I was looking to go. How do I reach out to you? If I want you to help me out with my social media, how about, how would I go about reaching out to you? Through social media is a great way to start. Oh, there, the, there we go. Florida Ambassador Media Group is on, I know it's a mouthful, but Florida Ambassador Media Group on Facebook. Now, uh, do I have to type that out, Florida Ambassador you Media do, Group? You uh, do. We gave you the full name there, but uh, you also can but uh, you also can reach me. Uh, you can look for the young professor. That's sometimes easier to remember. It's mm -hmm. the same guy doing it. So one way okay. or another, I'll get you in the right spot. Yeah. Uh, and you can always, uh, you could reach me on my cell phone. Uh, that's the best way to kind of catch me on the go. What's that number? That's going to be 865-227-4123. Okay, that's excellent. Here, guys, I really want to have you both on back again with some other your businesses because that's sure. interesting to me and you're a great service to our community. And that's what this show is all about is promoting local businesses, giving them free airtime so they can talk about themselves and their business and what value you bring to the county. Uh, 
I want to just discuss real quickly. Why does your business needs discuss real quickly? Why does your business need social media? I'll tell you why. Let's start with one simple fact. Social platforms help connect you with your customers, increase awareness about your brand and boost your leads and sales. With more than 3 billion around the world using social media every month, it's no passing trend. According to Matt and Joe from FAM, social media marketing has just to get more exposure, traffic, and gain more local insights. Like radio you are listening to right now, or print ad that you have in a magazine or postcard sent out to a thousand residents, social media is another avenue to get your word out about your business, but this time to those that your message that would otherwise not reach in today's digital world. I urge you to urge you to contact Matt at Florida Ambassador Media Group. He'll grow your social media presence and your bottom line will follow. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.